hello everyone welcome to my channel this is just a preview of my new student management system uh, so let's see how this is work okay let's uh, let's this is my login page uh, just login give the login credentials like uh, okay this is a field setup area actually okay it, in this uh, drop down menu you can select uh, any of the academy any academic year let's say uh, 2019-20 so it will ask a uh, fee settings so basically uh, for the uh, running purpose we need to uh, gain some figures for the grade wise okay so let's uh, say 1000 2000 okay let's approve this so automatically this will say this will create as a uh, feature setup okay so let's approve this and um, this column is for uh, which month your school is start okay so let's say uh, september month okay september your school is going to start okay and uh, login just clicking. so your login is successful okay this is the registration pre-registration setup okay uh, so here you can register first you need to uh, register a student so let's register my name for the sample so i'm going to join uh so now our school is going uh, starting in the month of uh, september that we do done the setup so i'm, I'm going to join in the month of october okay 2019 okay my date of birth uh is i'm just giving 27 5 2015 okay let's say some some date of it uh gender here grade i'm going to select uh for easy understanding kg1 because we have done the fee set up for kg1 for 1000 uh, that i'm rupees whatever it is okay let's go for other details address also by okay next here here is the fee charge setup area here you can see you are joined uh, you are logging as a 2019-20 academic year okay uh, here you can yearly you can do the fee setup this is a 1000 for grade uh, sorry kg1 uh, fees and you can do monthly also see monthly this is a fees because I am going in, uh, going to join in the month of October. That's why it is starting from October. That there is no fee charge for uh, September. Okay, let's uh, do some uh, annual fees and registration fees, 500, 500 each. Let's process. Your registration process is completed. Okay. Now, the fee setup area. Here you can collect the fees. As of now, I know my student ID. I can uh, do like this way. For example, so my uh, otherwise you can do the filter also. You can type and do. here you can see the invoice number and uh, date. Registration fee is 500. This is the fee charge we already done. Okay, 917 we charged. Annual fees 500 charged. Registration fees 500 charged. So I'm, as of now, I'm not going to collect the uh, annual fees. And will fees i'm not going to pay right now the parent okay and uh 500 in this i'm just going to collect 500 only so total 1000 i'm going to sell collect from cash 250 uh from credit card here you have options to uh, select the card type design master authorization for one two three four and uh here i am uh, selecting uh, 500 okay and the check the same uh one two three four the check number and the check date is um today man 5 2020 
and the bank is um, ABZ. Let's say some bank, okay, and uh, 250. So we are paying the, those VKs right now. Just click pay. It will generate a generate an invoice uh, with the whole details. Okay. See the invoice number is generated, student ID, student name, when which academic year for and which grade. This is the 500 uh, you paid uh, for registration fees and tuition fees 500 you paid and the mode of payment. Okay, uh, with credit card you paid, cash paid, check paid, like that. Okay, this is a this is a invoice format. Okay, that's it just close this we'll go back to uh, now the reports okay in this report you can select the field engine okay let's i can um, okay the other way we'll do we'll select from here okay or you can um, if you know the student ID, you can uh, do the um, type the student ID also that's fine just generate the data Uh, okay, this is your fee ledger for this particular student. As of now, top of, these are all the fee charge we have done. Okay, registration fees. Now we paid on ninth, ninth we paid these two. Okay, and this is a total debit, total credit, and there is a six hundred sixty for outstanding right now. Okay, let's close this. So this is a normal fee ledger. Let's close this and we'll go for the under report fee outstanding details. Uh, as of today, you can uh, filter wise um, student grade, uh, grade wise also you can filter, uh, you can generate the report or uh, active, inactive, or you can uh, either uh, click on all and it will generate all active or inactive both. As of now, I'm just going for active button and just generate. Uh, see, this is a fee outstanding as on uh, total fee outstanding 660 for this particular student. Okay, this is so this is a fee outstanding uh, report. And let's go for the collection details. So daily collection, okay, what we collected today, that report, you can generate. As on today, it is going to generate. Okay, um, cash we collected 250, credit card 500 uh, we collected, check through check, uh, 250 we collect. And this is a fee head summary. Registration fees 500 you collected, annual fees 500, uh, there is not no collection and tuition fees 500 you already collected so uh, this is a uh, normal reports just close this and we will go there is no other uh, this one okay we'll go back and we'll update uh, there is some update uh, uh, module here what we can do is status update in the status update i can change the student status active i'm going to remove the student as of today only 2020 and i'm going to change the status to inactive because the student was active and i'm going to change the status to inactive yes the status is updated okay now fee adjustment here you can do the fee adjustment setup because uh, um, the registration the annual fees we were not paid so that's why they're showing the current balance is 500 it, it is showing Registration fees nothing, annual fees 417 is pending, and the registration fees nothing, annual fees 500. Okay, I'm going to remove this 500. Okay, save. It's automatically saved. Let's go back and uh, check the ledger, uh, the student uh, fee outstanding details or the student ledger we will check as of today and just generate. Yeah, this 500 is reversed here. It will show the detailed narration also. 
this is your fee collection this is your fee charge these are all the fee charge and this annual fees uh, it's a debit here and we reverse today and it is showing as a credit and 164 pending and uh, because this is today's uh, 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 ledger uh, 1st of September to 9th of May so let's change the date to, to let's go for 09 okay, this is September month generate yes so 417 is showing so 417 also we need to reverse because this is student is left from here so let's go back update details here we can change to annual fee c 417 is showing i can remove this 417 save it's automatically saved um let's go for the report student ledger generate yes there is no balance it's all, all knocked off okay uh yeah fine that's fine just close this go back okay that's it as of now thank you for watching my channel uh, if you regret this uh, fee management system, you can uh, contact me through my email ID, uh, which is uh, showing in the description. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching.